Central, man, cartel. Go Capone, go Capone, yeah. And here we are in the park. It's Irving Felix John, Bam Bam. And we're back again with another video. But first thing first, bro. It's so hot over here. It is hot. So, you know what that called for? Yeah. It's shirtless weather, man. And well, there we go. That's exactly how we should be. So anyway, guys, today uh, we're doing a couple things. We're gonna do um, like a talk video. We're just talk about some topics. So a lot of people have been asking, you know, how do you get bigger with only calisthenics? Is it even possible? Yeah. Can you get bigger just doing calisthenics? Only. Only. Yes, you can get bigger, but there is a limit to what you can do. By doing more advanced variations of simpler exercises, human flags, handstand push-ups, jump squats, pistol squats, you're now increasing the amount of resistance that uh, an individual muscle is using, so it makes it uh, more challenging. What's your take on that? I got six topics on that, you know, that we, I just want to cover. Doesn't really require much to even know this too. It's just like more common sense, but Hopefully it'll help you guys. So let's go. First thing I want to cover is genetics. 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 You can major get major key. You can get big off of anything if you have good genetics. Period. You can even be big without working out. I know people that look kind of like fit and huge, and they don't even work out because they have good genetics. So that's one thing you guys have to take into like, consideration. Yeah, consideration yep. like genetics. So a lot of people you look at them and you're like, damn, I want to look like this guy. He's so big and he only does calisthenics, well, it doesn't mean you can do it. Yeah, it doesn't mean you're gonna look like him if you don't have his kind of genetics. So you gotta remember, what we, you know, our predisposition as far as our genetics, that's what gives us like that hand of cards. Yeah. I mean, yes, you can have good genetics, but if you wanna become like the top tier in whatever it is, calisthenics, bodybuilding, whatever, you're gonna have to put in some additional work. So genetics gives you that hand, and it's up to you how you play it, and then you'll, you, that will determine exactly uh, what kind of results that you'll achieve. Second topic is body type. Okay, so body types. That again is uh, based on your genetics. This is how like we're born. You can be a mix of all three. So there are three main types. Ectomorph, mesmomorph, and metamorph. So those are the types of, of, um, of body types. You can have a, a mix. There's different variables that make up these body types. So, you know, some people, it doesn't matter how much they train, how much they work out, uh, they'll never really achieve the size of being massive. It's just not the way that their frames are, are, are built to be. And you gotta accept that. You see, you know, like Mr. Olympias and stuff like that. Chances are, majority of them did not come from extremely skinny, thin frame people. That's just uh, the fact of it. Like, um, ectomorphs, you can tell by their frame, you know, slender shoulders, things like that. Um, mesomorphs, they got wider, a wider stance, bigger shoulders, broader shoulders. And that's how you, you can determine, and based on how your body uses, um, you know, calories, your metabolism, that's how you can determine what type of body type you have. You might find that you have different variables of all these different body types, and then it brings together, you're like, well, what am I? So, you know, it might mix up, and that's how you should base your training based on yep. your body type. That's exactly what I was gonna say, guys. Make sure you find out your body type, and you just train based on that, and you also diet based on your body type. Don't that's follow right. everybody's diet. Don't. You can follow anybody's way of training, but dieting, you have to really take that into you have to. Time. You have to. Third thing I'm gonna talk about is dieting. So what I recommend, honestly, you know, I recommend the pescatarian diet or the vegan diet. And if you're doing the pescatarian diet, just cut the dairy out. You know, only eat the fish and just cut everything else out. The dairy and just stick to eating your vegetables. I do vegan like four to five days a week. You know, sometimes I go a whole week and do vegan. You ask like, oh yeah, are you really vegan, blah, blah. <laughs> like the vegan is not a lifestyle for me, but the vegan diet is a lifestyle for me. Yeah, the, keeping the it dieting. real, man, he keeping yeah, it real. So dieting is, is a lifestyle for me. Not, it worked for him, yeah. you know? You know what I'm saying? I, it just feels good like when you just eat only vegetables, you know, plant-based food the whole day. So that's what I recommend and no steroids, no supplement, but like I said, do what's best for you. What do you recommend? Yeah. So guys, remember, your diet, when I say diet, people tend to think like, oh, calorie deficit, don't eat food, starve myself. That is not what a diet is. A diet is your consistent, habitual way of eating, how you're eating over a period of time. Woo. 
the only way to know exactly what works for you is to do it. You know, of course, look, I'm not saying in every case, you like, so I have to use um, heroin and meth and all these stuff to know what it does to me. No, you, that's not what I'm talking about. If you want to do like the ketogenic diet, uh, intermittent fasting, blah, 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 all these crazy diets, give it a try and then you'll see if it worked for you. People say, oh, I heard this about this diet. I mean, look, of course you're gonna hear all types of things. In this world with so much information, it yep. is difficult to know what's what. So the best way to do something is to actually try it for yourself. Me personally, I do what I call accidental intermittent fasting. You know, like I'll go the whole morning. So if you guys saw my last diet video, talking about like what I eat, um, I always start my morning by readying my stomach for digestion. Remember guys, the gut. Your gut health is more important than anything else. This is where, where diseases stem from, from your gut. So taking care of that, getting it ready, take, taking care of that bacteria that's in there. You gotta keep in mind, guys, it's the habitual stuff that we do. So what I do every morning, I wake up, I warm up my water, I'll put some lemon in there, lemon water or ginger tea, and I drink that. So I'm preparing my intestinal health, um, my intestines to you know digest the food. Uh, whatever it may be. Look guys, like I said, I grew up vegan. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not vegan right now. But um, when I do, when I was in the UK, I pretty much was vegan and I felt wonderful. It, I'm gonna tell you, it is a very um, healthy way of eating, uh, especially being here in America, man. You don't know what's in your food. Exactly. I mean, if you're going out to these places, uh, of course you can trust some places more than, than the other, but how do you really know and, where and to And honestly, trust? being a vegan doesn't mean you're healthy. That's why, because everybody want to just ride this wave. Like, yo, I'm vegan, I'm vegan. Being a vegan doesn't mean you're healthy. If you're drinking liquor every single day and you're a vegan, but that doesn't mean you're healthy. <laughs> you're healthy. Exactly, and you so. Can, you can be smoking your freaking life out and still be a vegan. So, exactly. You know? So it, it's a lifestyle, and that's what, we, exactly. that's what we preach and teach. Of course, we like our physiques. So that's, that's a wonderful bonus. But that's not the goal. If that was a goal, you know, by any means necessary, we would be trying to achieve it. Whether it be steroids, taking all types of exactly. supplements that people are like, oh, try this, try this, try this. No, I, like me, people hit me up every single day, talking about, hey, try this party, and I'm not gonna try and sell something that I don't believe in, um, and something that I know I'm not using for myself. So exactly. that's uh, a major key there. Let's stick to the topic. It was about diet, so that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that kind of sums it up. That sums it up. No steroids, no supplements, like I said. Well, and try, well, try well, well, what works you can, for you. You can try Not supplements. Yeah, <laughs> don't try except for steroids. <laughs> you don't can try, try that. supplements. Don't though. try that. But that's just what I do. Yeah. No. So don't, God, and don't follow me. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, there. Keep it real. Me, Keep keeping it real. <laughs> you hear that? You can follow, but you don't have to. You don't have to. Fourth topic: is training right and training hard. So what does that mean? You know, yeah. training right and training, training hard. hard. Yeah. You know, like some people train hard, but they don't train right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, your form is horrible, but they have that. That drive, that, that drive. discipline to yeah. keep going. You know, they could be there for hours, but they're not doing the right thing. But they are going hard. So you know what they say? They say consistency is key, but there is uh, uh, a factor to that. You, got, you could be consistent in doing the complete wrong thing, you know, and exactly. that's what it comes into actually educating yourself on what you're doing and not just exactly. bro sciencing it. You should be trying to evolve, yep. train hard and smart. First, you train smart before you start training hard. Exactly. Now, people ask how many time should you spend working out? You know, like, if you're a beginner, like, really, like, you just started working out, period. Why would you follow somebody that's training in the park for three hours and working out six days a week? The body's gonna just tear up and the next week, you, even the next day, you're probably not gonna be able to work out. It next day, make, yeah. the next week, you probably won't be able to yeah. work out. The way, if you're, like you said, a complete beginner. Yeah. Complete, you gotta be smart. Look, there's nothing wrong with wanting to get to that level, yeah. but you have to do what you can do. And don't limit yourself, not saying limit yeah. yourself, but be smart in your approach. Exactly. Make sure the time you spend in the gym or in the park, you use very wisely. Not chit-chatting and talking all day or just like doing rubbish or aiming, oh yeah, today I'm gonna do a thousand push-ups. And freaking 80% of those thousand push-ups were right. half-ass push-ups. Some people can do that. Maybe I can do that. I'm guilty of that. But I've already reached where I want to reach. Like if somebody challenged me, I could take the challenge and do dumb shit. This is just common sense, guys. Like if you're trying to get bigger, be smart about it. 
major key. A rest time between sets. If you're, what, what do you recommend? Like, okay, rest so time. rest time between sets. Of course, according to your goal, we do uh, stick to, uh, well, as far as my training style, because I train for functionality, and of course, I train to look good. So um, the main thing here, look, listen, if you're training for endurance, I did a video on this, I'm gonna still link it, but I'm gonna tell you guys anyway since you're here. Under 30 seconds, that's endurance for your rest period. So you do it, do whatever you're doing, you take your rest, it should be 30 seconds maximum if, if you're training for endurance, 30 seconds under. Now, if you're training for strength, strength, remember strength and power are different. I, I think I did a video on that as well. But if you're training for strength, uh, anywhere from a minute, you know, roughly a minute um, where you feel like you've recovered, that's good to go. And then if you're training for power, this is like max out for probably like one, two repetitions, then what you're gonna wanna do is take as long as you need before you go on to that next set. That is for um, um, power sets right there. Static holds, supersets, weighted calisthenics, all this stuff you're gonna see on our YouTube, you guys should try that as you progress. That's it. You know, That's and it. With freestyle, there's nothing wrong with freestyling, man. There's nothing wrong with freestyling at all, but if you're trying to get bigger, I would say less freestyle and just more reps That's and sets. You know what I'm saying? Those but, are more like neurological acts, like using yeah. the mind-muscle connection. It's skill development, exactly. um, psychomotor skills. It's not yeah. so much That's, using your, 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 I mean, building height. It's not working your muscle fibers exactly. to the degree to um, create hypertrophy. Yeah. So, that's just the, the fact, that's not an opinion, that is a fact as exactly. far as it goes with uh, performing freestyle for just performance, you know? Like if somebody wanna be a dancer, you, you don't really see Brawley dance. But yeah, I don't know how he does that. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Less freestyling, more reps and sets. What do you guys say about the 100 push-ups a day thing? Man? 100 push-ups a day, yeah. So listen, guys. Of course, I would hope that you're not, the only thing you're doing is not just 100 push-ups. It was a challenge for an extended period of time. Yes, if you're doing, remember, structural balance, if you're doing horizontal pushing or vertical pushing, you gotta balance it out by doing the opposite movement, whether it be vertical pulling, vertical pushing. So you got to balance it, that's what it does. Um, structural balance comes through these working these different planes of motion, hip dominant, knee dominant, um, like I said, vertical, horizontal, all that stuff. You can do push-ups every day um, for a certain period of time. What I would say is as long as you're working, if you're doing like push-ups, do the posterior chain as well. A lot of people do not focus on the posterior chain and then you start to get like that hunchback. That's not what you wanna do. You wanna create structural balance. So um, for a beginner, I would say don't do the push-ups every single day. For someone who knows what they're doing, I did push-ups every day for a couple months I think and I got pretty good results as far as um, like my overall physique was looking pretty shredded and, and whatnot and so not just only doing a hundred push-ups yes day. I was not he just was adding doing, it to his I was working workout. there we go so that's what it is so keep that in mind what about rest days you know you gotta rest people think that if you oh I'm the hardest motherfucker on earth I gotta train every day or I'm not uh, you know a, a hard worker no you grow when you rest, especially if you're training with a lot of resistance, a lot of intensity. And it, what will determine your rest is the intensity that your routine is. So if you're not training super intensive and whatnot, you know, you might be able to train day after day after day yeah. after day. If but if you're day. training exactly. intense, intensely after a, a, after a, a, crazy a battle, routine, like, you're you going to know. know, holy shit, I feel sick. And you know you need time to recover um and you gotta rest so as far as that's concerned you must rest you have to rest don't do the same thing day after day that's why i said for a beginner you probably def well i definitely wouldn't recommend doing um 100 push-ups every single day if you can't even if you could barely bang out like a exactly. good solid 50. and the last thing this is the last one man you gotta subscribe to both our channels you got to you're here already how, how, how are you gonna get bigger if you don't subscribe you won't you won't, it's yeah. not, you won't get bigger. If you subscribe, you watch the videos, you perform. That's make all. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, smash that share button, leave a comment below, let us know what videos you guys want us to post next. There's gonna be a comment under this video, um, like that comment, and guys, share the video, share it, okay? Do not be greedy with this information and keep it for yourself. We're trying to get a million views on this video right here, okay? So do it. Not a lot of people are just big.
only cost that. That's a fact. So make sure no steroids either. 